Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today in science, we are going to talk about forces. For our starter activity, identify if the statement is true or false. Number one, force is a push or pull. Number two, force can make an object move. Three, force can make an object change its shape. Four, force can change the direction of a moving object. And five, force can make a moving object stop. Pause the video and write your answers. Time is up. Now here are the answers. All the statements are true. Did you get all the correct answer? If not, stay tuned and learn from this video. For this lesson, our learning objective is to describe the effects of force to an object. Success criteria. I can identify forces as push and pull. I can describe the effects of forces to an object. And I can explain the effects of forces to an object and give examples. What is a force? A force is a push or pull. Force can make an object stop or start moving. Forces make things move. Whenever an object starts to move or moves faster, it is a force making this happen. Forces can also make things stop moving or slow down. So, what do you think a force can do? Take a look at the different pictures. Pick picture one. We are applying force when you're squeezing the lemon. A force can change the shape of an object. For picture two, we are also applying force when we're pedaling the pedal for a bicycle. For picture three, we are also applying force when we are pushing a cart. So a force can make an object move. For the picture four, we are also applying force when we wanted to stop a ball. A force can make a moving object stop. And for the last picture, we can also make or apply force when we are trying to put the ball in a different direction. So a force can change the direction of a moving object. Take a minute to think, what are the effects of forces? For picture one, we can apply force to a ball when we are shooting it to a basket. We can also apply force when we are pulling the kite or pulling a horse or donkey. Might be also having force when we are pushing a trolley or pulling a trolley. So here are the effects of forces. First, force can move a stationary object. Any object that are on stationary, just like a ball, when you apply force to it, it will move. For instance, also, when you are having your car or a toy car on hold, and if you are pushing it, it will move and go to a different ways. Number two, force can change the speed of a moving object. For an instance, a ball slowly rolling on the floor and we and when we kick on it, the ball will move fast and move to another direction. Third, force can stop a moving object. Just like also another example, a ball, when it's rolling on the floor and we try to stop it by our hand or by our feet, we use force to stop it. Fourth, force can change direction of a moving object. Just like another example a while ago, when we kick a ball or when we hit a ball with a bat, it goes to a different direction. So we apply force and that force changes the direction of that moving object. And fifth, force can change the shape of an object. Just like a rubber band, when we are pulling it, it changes into its another shape. 
like squeezing a foam or the lemon, just an example a while ago. So here are the effects of forces. For our activity one, I'd like you to identify if the force is a push or pull. For picture one, pushing a cart. The word is already pushing, so this is push. For picture two, pushing also a pram, it's push. We have picture three, someone is pulling a lorry. So this is pull. Also, a swimmer is pulling someone on a board. So this is pull. Next picture, okay, is pushing a cart going up to a truck. A fort, someone is pulling, okay, a rope while doing a workout then next picture is also push someone is pushing a machine to mow a grass and we have next picture is pull pulling a log and finally we have also pull a child is pulling his or her mom for the next activity I'd like you to choose a picture and link it to the effects of the forces to an object. Write a short description about it. Pause the video and write your answers. Time is up. You may share your answer to your class or you may read it loud to your teacher or to a partner. And for activity three, explain and give example for every effects of force. For, force, for effect one, force can move a stationary object. Explain how it happened, and you have to give example. Same as for number two, three, four, and five. Pause the video and write your answers. Time is up. When you are done with your answer, you can show it to your teacher, or you can read it loud. And finally, we have our plenary. I'd like to, to end my video from this. I hope you have learned something today. Until next time, thank you for watching. Always remember, be the best you can. Bye.